Doctors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this uh, 31st day of August, last trading day, of, uh, last day of the month, and uh, we're looking at something very interesting, but I just wanted to show you this first. Remember yesterday I was talking about that uh, 45.30 level that I said will become um, a focal point. It was out of completely, just wasn't even in the cards at all. Uh, way back uh, was that... Uh, let me just scroll down here. Uh, well, I don't want to go all the way back. But two days ago, we were way under it in the E-mini futures. Uh, and then all of a sudden, it came into focus. And look how many times we've hit this. This is, this is a straight line. This is just that horizontal line I drew weeks and weeks ago. I said, it's going to become important. Let's just keep it there. And let's see what happens when we get back to it. Well, yesterday at exactly 7.32 a.m., Whoosh, we went right through that, went to a peak E, made a cup formation, and then this morning, oh, that was this morning. Mm -mm. Yeah, this morning retested it, came back, and then uh, all of a sudden, it has the, uh, was it PCE? With, uh, yeah, the data this morning came out, and then pop, it comes wiggle, 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 and it makes, I'm calling that an E. It's very unusual for, for me to say, taking out, a starting point in a buy signal to buy mode just negates everything. In this particular instance, because it's economic news, I always say that 8.30 time frame is it's the one time that I have to say you've got to be flexible because you get that single leg A, I call it the Eiffel Tower, straight up and straight down. In this case, it wiggled and wiggled at a very long doji candle, not quite a doji, but long-legged up and down with the body in the middle. Then it went to an E, and then it suddenly started to turn down. So if you were looking at this in terms of do I go long or do I go short, at the 43, uh, 45, 37 level, that was about the easiest thing uh, up until then, it wasn't very easy. But once it turned negative, with the, with the comparable spikes in the 5- and 10-minute chart, that was probably one of the safer uh, positions to put on. But even that got to be bumpy. You got an arch formation. Finally, what does it do? It goes right down to the 45-30 level, plunges underneath it. Not plunges. It goes sharply below to the 45-20, uh, I believe it was 27, 26 level, and then bounces and then you got this wiggling again, peak D, and the Chapman wave pulls back and goes to peak A, peak B, and a peak C1 and C2. And what's going on? That Look how many times we've hit that 45, 30 level. So just in terms of education, that's what we like to do here. Oh, talk about education. That was really good. Uh, Tom O'Brien did his uh, workshop yesterday. Really, it was for subscribers. Um I, it's very interesting. I mean, I've been listening to Tommy. He's been listening to me since 2022. And I talk about unbalanced volume. He talks about volume. He uses it in his particular. And I always say, whatever methodology you have, refine it. Get it better and better and better. It has nothing to do with what anybody else thinks. It's what you do successfully. So I look at this unbalanced volume. Uh, just here on the one-minute chart, look how it's chopped around. But look at that nice low that it gave at about 9.47 with that nice move to the upside. And then that reversal at the peak C1 and C2. So on, I also have volume here, but the volume is so important um, in the way that you interpret it. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Tom. I really... I really enjoyed it, and I, it's it's fascinating. As much as I've, I I hear you, the way you were presenting things, I I got a lot out of it in the sense that it was educational and additive. And I always say, if you have a good technique, anything else that anybody says should be additive to your work. If it's subtractive, why? I mean, why bother? Or if it points out something that's wrong, that's different. But if it just kind of makes things confusing, no, this was very nice, very clear. Thank you very much. Um, a couple of so if anybody's interested in that workshop, um, I highly recommend that if you got, if you, if you, you know, first of all, you become a subscriber. But at the same time, um, 
just that alone was worth you know education here we go so i'm anticipating that we're making some kind of a shortish uh, term top right here so now i can go through all these uh, different uh, indices i'll do this quite quickly because there's a ton to i had so many questions i just before i do anything else i wanted to just read this here we had a while quite a while back we had a kevin writing and he said if i i'm thinking that i would like to start three positions in the s p and I'm going to have one, and I, I, there was a position that he was going to take fairly soon. And then I'm having one lower down, and then I'm having a third one lower down. Because I've always said, if you if you have, do not cost average uh, because you made a mistake. But if your plan is to say, I think that the bigger picture is going up or going down, but whatever your bigger plan is, then if you move around that, in a judicious way, in a well-organized judicious way, that's the best thing to do. So he said, hi, Basil. As a long, and also during the interim period, he had asked about shorting. And I said, you know, you've done so well just sticking to this, this buying method that, yeah, a short-term trade's absolutely, but don't confuse the two. Hi, Basil. As a longer-term investment, I was looking at buying S&P recent dip at three levels and grabbed two-thirds around the 43.80 level. We are now trading at 45.26, far above that, as his second position. Uh, for my last one-third, would you wait to get back down there at the 4,300 or buy now? Thanks, Kevin. So, Kevin, I don't want to change your philosophy Remember, we spoke about that. I said, that's what you've got to stick to because it's done very well for you. Even as it stands right now, with the two positions you have, I, I'm willing to bet you are still up quite nicely percentage-wise. I would stay with the plan. What The only thing I would change is because the way that the market has moved up right now, and I'm, I want to do this, this is for everyone. I just, I've got rig right now because I was asked in the den about Transocean Limited. Question was, uh, is it? Uh, yeah, you better lock in your home heating oil price. I don't disagree with that. Um, so he says oil is going to 300 a gallon, but he, the question is, think rig ad um so he said uh, in the same sentence as that he also said basil any chance we see 300 dollars oil and i said it depends on which currency i was just joking uh, we'll talk about that i mean i can't talk about 300 dollars oil i just don't do that back in my mind i could be thinking anything in fact i'm reading this book now it was sent to me by one of one of my subscribers uh, called um uh the, the fourth turning and I, I'll talk about it as we move along. I know a lot of people have read it from way back. I, I can't remember if I look read little bits of it, but I, I got a feeling I let that one go by. And I'm always talking about this coda phase, but I make it as simple as possible. We go from a period of sparsity to a period of excess, excessivity. It's just as simple as that. And the period of excessivity that I'm thinking of is that we're People around the world will be using their computers to be trading stocks and just going crazy on whatever is the fashion of the time. We haven't even got close to that. So with that, I'm going to stop. We're up 106 on the Dow. And now I'll get different. But yes, Rick, you can add to it as a trade right now, only as a trade. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So let me just go one chart at a time. Uh, so I've got the crude oil right here. Let's just deal with that because it, it is important in the sense that you've got, as someone said, uh, in, in the uh, Tiger YouTube voice talks about the black gold and... Uh, no, of course, about the liquid, black liquid and the gold liquid, right. So um, within that context, what I'm looking at here is that crude oil has held very well. To project much higher prices, for me, the back of my mind, I'm saying this is a period where the elect the, 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 the tide is trying to change dramatically in the idea of alternate energy, and especially for automobiles. Uh, when people say, oh, I remember my friend when we were at the auto show back in 2005 or something like that here in the Boston area, and they had, a, um, they had a, so Prius was, I think it was the first period where the Prius had come out, and he said, ah, another 20 years, it'll all be over, there won't be any gas, I said, Julius, we're talking about an infrastructure that has to change. It always takes 30 to 50 years before you can go from turning the key or pressing the button to whatever it is for the for the layperson to have got that particular whatever it is. I mean, even if you think of the computers back in the 1980s, we started doing with Apple, right? Well, it took until the, about the 2005s for us. I, I used to be online with problems uh, for hours. I used to get data that took from Friday's close until Monday's open. Just as it opened, I was lucky to get the data finished. Uh, but this was all data around the world. I don't know why I ever did that. But I used to have the modem going and it was going. So it takes a long time. So to me, crude oil has a function 
The semiconductor chips have taken over that function. They both now work in concert, but the one is going to lead the other, and the whole battery operation is going to be, uh, for the 21st century, that's where we're going. It might even not be batteries, and then it'll be a glass of water that has something. It'll be You never know what the leapfrog of, of technical innovation uh, takes in place, right? So in that sense... I think crude oil, I'm not talking about 300 crude, unless it's just an aberrational thing very you know, over the next year or two. But I do see oil going higher. And in the shorter term, there's a lot of resistance to the 84, even if it breaks that, somewhere in the 80, between 84 and 87. At least this is the way I'm looking at it. All right, so let's do one step at a time. And absolutely, this 200 period moving average of 77, that's key support. Now, that, okay, that gets to one, one, of the, the, one of the things yesterday. The next thing is, um, within the context of what we're looking at, just let, let me go here because the month is about to finish. We don't know where the, where the, the market will close today, but I think that the, you can see the last couple of days, uh, end of month buying has been in place, and it's going to take something really unusual to, to kind of stop that today. So let's just say that even if we pull back sharply from here, that monthly chart is not, uh, I shouldn't ever say that, but I just don't see... At 45.30 right now, back to that trend line, right? This is the cash there. Um, 45.07 to have a 170-something point up move. Now, nah, I just don't see it today. So this is going to become a peak C. I think in September, how we break into leg D above 45, let's say 45.20, to get into the 45.20s, that's going to be important. The way I'm looking at the MACD and the stochastic, uh, it's really positive in the monthly chart. Nine is over the 14. Price is over the nine. The shorter term weekly chart has this nine period moving average. I just need to go to this to, to for those of you who are new to my work. Look at that. This is the uh, SMHs. Look how nicely it turned up. Went back to positive. We are actually still short because I think there's still some choppiness left over here. Uh, I'm thinking about when we, we've taken off our aggressively short positions, taken real nice profits, just stepped aside for now. But look at this. This is the daily. Let me show you the weekly chart. I'll just change it right now. Look, the weekly chart, springboard from the 14 period moving up. Look at the S&P. This is the weekly chart. Springboard from the 14 period moving up. Look at the Dow. This is the weekly chart. Oh, we're just using two two moving averages. The 914. Uh, oh, I don't really want to move this. I'll, I'll move it now and just put it back. Look, springboard, but it hasn't really had a fantastic move up, but it is a very nice move up from the 14 period moving average in price, but the 9 is still way above the 14. Look at the XLK. This is the XLK is the S&P Select Spider <coughs> Tech Fund. Nice move up. And that nine is not even considering coming back. You can just go on and on. Look at gold. Gold hasn't turned positive yet. Uh, gold is down three at uh, 1970. Look, it hasn't. This is a continuous contract. That nine period moving average is still negative. But wait a minute. Look at silver. Uh, can I do that? Is that a problem? Yeah. Silver has had fabulous moves sideways, the weekly chart, but it's been making low lows and lower highs. Here it's an inside trading range, and that pink 9 period moving average is close to turning up, but it hasn't yet. Look at uh, the dollar, and this to me is absolutely imperative to, to monitor, because the dollar, look at that, beautiful left side, right side price time match, uh, the uh, Nine period moving average for positive. So to me, um, the possibilities are there, but I'd much rather talk about what's happening now in real time. So let's just go to this. This is a fabulous We try to get long. We are still short from that exact high. Um, <coughs> we only want to one short because I said that the Dow has the right mix, even though it's lagging somewhat. The other, indic other indices, I think it has the right mix for the next phase up, and therefore, um, we only went one to one short. But look what's happened. 
There's a Chapman falling act. We haven't gone one to one to the upside where we've done it. If it's, I don't want to draw, draw it in now. From that low at uh, 30, uh, four, sorry, it was the s and I didn't mean to do that. I meant the Dow. From this low of 34,025, that's a very nice move up. It's not great, but it's very nice. And this Chapman wave inside uh, track resistance level, the falling axe resistance there, we've gone above it. If it goes much higher, then I have to grab the outer level over there, and that would be the next move up. But in the meantime, I'm fine with all these highs being hit. That little wick gets discarded, and these three highs are very important, and we're above it. But look at the difference in the in the indices themselves. Look at the S and P. It's almost done. A, it's done. If I'm conservative, it's done more than a one to one from this low to that high, and then from this low equal up to there. It's extended. But look at that weekly. That nine over the fourteen is really good. Look at the um, monthly chart. It, it doesn't even look. Even though we had a really bad, uh, not a recession, they haven't called it, although we know that it really was. Look at this couple V-shaped formation from the high um, back in uh, January of uh, 2022. We're almost there. I'll be back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So, once again, let me just show you here how important this is. Uh, if you can identify certain levels and you can stay 
with the uh, just keeping. Oh, there's a two minute chart. You know, how did that happen? Uh, wow. I don't know what happened there. All right. Anyway, so um, look at this. Right here. There's that line. 45.30. We went fractionally above it. Yeah, I think that's an E. So interesting, huh? We'll just watch that. Okay, now a whole bunch of things came in. Let me just get to them one at a time. So uh, first, I'm going in order now. Just So the that was an article. Oh, I see you were quoting an article that said, that crude oil should go to 300. And I can't remember who it was, who, uh, which, uh, where the article came from. But uh, okay, that's fine. Just I mean, people have opinions. I, as I said, I just I don't I I don't want to get wildly out of place when in fact it's like <laughs> saying uh, you're on your way to New York from Boston, and you you're not even at uh, Hartford. And you say, oh, New York's fantastic. No, yeah, it's just the place that you're going to. First, you've got to get to Hartford, right? So we haven't done that. So in the meantime, so uh, let me go one at a time. One was a question about the dollar. What about the weekly that went to a lowercase h, then a an M-shaped pattern, went below, closed above it? Where does that go to? Well, all I can say is that the weekly chart technicals are still – Kind of mix. We've only now seen the nine period move flip over to positive in the in the weekly chart. The MACD, as I said, I've been talking about this for some time. I'm saying we're stuck in a trading range, but the bias on the on the daily chart is really very good to the upside. Nine period moving is is fantastic. It's worked beautifully. Uh, I should also mention we've been long for about a few years now, quite a few years since 2018. So what we're looking at is within the dollar. It's in this trading range, and the only way I can look at it is say, well, you should have a mirror image, at least in one of the inverse currencies. Well, the euro has the exact top of the, at the exact pattern was having it. It broke above the resistance, but it was making higher highs and higher lows. That pattern hasn't changed. But look at the sharp move down today. Look at the importance of this 200 period moving average of 1.080. So, all I can say is. The euro hasn't given me any signs, and the USD JPY has given me a sign. Uh, this is the US dollar, Japanese yen. This is the yen, basically. And what we're looking at is gone up very nicely in the weekly. That weekly is still strong. The daily is strong, but technically I'm starting to see some weakness. It made a peak F, holding very nicely, but that 9 is still over the 14. So the, all of this is a work in progress, and that's really what I wanted to say about the dollar before, that yes, I think that the dollar will be pulling back, but it's a work in process. And just like the Dow, when we, we were doing this for weeks, we were talking about how the Dow, 9 pin moving average was so strong in the daily chart, and that it would be a process, and you'd have to use other techniques to get any sell signal, which we got on the exact day of the high using um, a, a, different, a different technical tool. And then you got, you're looking at this, and all I'm saying is that, um, yeah, this is kind of a work in progress to say, where will the low be? But because of this powerful move, because I'm looking at, say, let's just take the Dow. Look at CRM, Salesforce. I mean, this is fantastic. Finally, you've got an earnings report with a spectacular gain um, in, the, in the big talker. This guy is just amazing. Uh, Benioff, I've followed him for years and years and years. I, I complained when they moved to that new uh, building, but actually, this is one of the few times that the building high, uh, the building didn't correspond exactly to the high in the market. This went to 311.25 in November of 2021. Usually, I, I put that together. The 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 uh, excessivity of architecture that goes with market tops like the Empire State Building. The papers were per, per, uh, were passed in um, the summer of 20, 1929, and uh, the high was at, um, at 386 in the Dow, the long weekend, this exact long weekend of 1929. Um, okay, so um, I like to do that, and I mean, I spoke about Petronas Towers. I've got all those notes over here. I showed the building. I said that you, know, you should have a major collapse in their currency. I've spoken about it in all these different uh, – even in 2000, there was a, a popular science uh, cover right there in March – in January of 2000 
that had the 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 world's tallest building that was going to be built in Chicago. Was it the world's tallest or was it the tallest building in America? And then they changed the plans. They did it 2007. They had the plans already again. They canceled. They still haven't built that building, I believe, in Chicago. Anyway, so let's get back to our story. So there's internal strength. I like that. My big question was, was that the low that we saw? a week and a half ago, or was it a low? And I, I think it's a low. I think that's going to be an internal low, and we'll wait for a residual low, and that's kind of the way I'm looking at it right now. So I'm trying to – look, CRM is in the in the Dow. IBM, old, old IBM. This is a company that is going to go way higher. It's turned the corner. International business machines, information technology, AI, cloud, and enterprise software. Here it is at 147 up 36 cents all time. Uh, no, the most recent all time high was at the 153 level. Uh, 151 was back in 2020. Then 153 was uh, in uh, January, I think, you know, December. Let me just check. Yeah, December of 2023. Well, how can it be December of 2023? 2022? <laughs> I thought there was a little problem there. Um, so, all I'm saying is that things are happening that I, I don't see the kind of crash that takes these things down now to the 86th level of, of March of 2020 in IBM or CRM to the low that was made. Even uh, now, maybe the recent low, but the 126 low of December 2023. Um, no, I, I just not at this particular point. I think they've turned the corner. So. In essence, what am I saying? I'm saying a huge amount of um, reparate, repairing has been done in the markets and that, yes, we can be ready for some kind of slide. Now, let me go to all the questions. Here we go. That was that. I've done 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 that. Now, let's see. Maybe, you know, I saw a question that I had glanced over before but forgot to read. So let me go. Yeah, okay, here we go. Um, did I miss something? No, I haven't missed it yet. There we are, scrolling, scrolling, oil, okay. Used to, oh, the question came in. Let me just get to that. It was over here. Uh, GDX, it was the question. Basil, uh, look at QQQ monthly, hammer candle August. Okay, that's the one thing I haven't seen. Triple M, I'll do that. Um and there was a GDX question. Oh, GDX just getting started. Okay, so let me just do one at a time. Let's do the GDX because a lot of people are uh, looking at the GDX. Yeah, the GDX, this is the gold miners. This is the one that tells me that it's going to be a process for gold and silver to really start to, to make the big move. I don't think this is the big move. I think this is a, a, a potentially very nice bounce coming up over the next few weeks. I think there's still going to have to be some testing going on. And until at 30, at 29.38, until I actually looking at the bigger uh, a statement there, that GDX is just getting started. Until GDX on a weekly basis closes two weeks out of three, about 33.80, let's call it 34. This is all just a, a process right now. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So just real quick, the MJ, which is the alternative harvest ETF, we once had, had this for absolutely, uh, just really, it was a spectacular game. Um, MJ. Uh, this is the Alternate Harvest ETF, cannabis sector, and then really basically touched a couple of times but just said, nah, it's not ready for prime time. When it plunged down to the 280s, and now it's at 358 because of the, the whole banking. Uh, this, th there were so many facets to... Uh, why this cannabis sector uh, ETF just couldn't make it. Now I think it's out of the woods in terms of <clears throat> the twos. I think it's going to try to establish some kind of a low in the maybe a 320 to 310 area will be support. We'll see because if it does hold that, then within that there should be plays that you can do, especially if the market starts to pull back early September, then this could be a place to go to. But it's still fraught with a lot of issues. So let me just go through. So now let me a quick your queue with monthly. Uh, should wait for the end of the end of, end of the day. But that monthly has got a very strong leg A. The monthly technicals are very strong. Stochastics at 88%. <clears throat> this is important. It's acting very very well. So um, any at this particular point, how the queues are. Any sudden, I don't see the nine period moving average I'm moving under the 14 unless the weekly chart, and this is trading at 342 to 379, somewhere in the, the low 340s. Um, and you'll have plenty of warning if that's going to happen because the price will have to go underneath the low that was established at about 354 the other day. So this is, this is acting well. I think there's a lot of things that have turned positive not just on the shorter term, but are helping the intermediate term. So that's important. So that was a triple M. Let's do these in sequence. Here we go. Triple M, nice bounce today. It had a gap, and it hasn't filled the gap. And this is a leg C. So you may hit a low, the most recent low in the 97s. Uh, now it's trading peak A. And this is what I mean about this. This is in the Dow. This is what I mean about the rotation in the Dow, that I think there's enough going on to say that one more very serious news-related uh, slump, if we're going to get that at all. But if we get that, I'm looking to lift the, uh, the uh, short position that we have 
and then start just looking at long side. We haven't got there yet. I just need this is a little bit more than I anticipated. The move up that's because of the rotation with uh, uh, Salesforce helping so much, helping the Dow so much today. But in the meantime, a lot has happened that's really important. And I know you talk about the, the dollar. The dollar is, oh, I haven't finished Triple M. So Triple M has 110 as the 200 period moving average. Look how fantastic it was as a, a repellent zone when it went to peak D in July. And now it's pulling back, but it's made a higher low. And that says if there is a higher high, which will take it to leg C in the weekly, there's a turnaround. And, and Triple M has resolved lawsuits. Uh, there, there's a lot going on in the background with Triple M. That's the reason why it just went from 208 in May of 2021 all the way down to the recent lows in the 1994 90, area. So this is the first real test in the monthly chart of is it able to close for a second month for the first time um, in, in a year, more than a year, above that pink nine period moving average. And that's going to be important. It might not be this month because we're almost wrapping up uh, today's action. Uh, I'm talking about in the monthly chart. A lot has to happen to get over 112. It's at 107. So I could see a new leg B in September, and that will be important. And that's what I need to see this rotation of the very weakest in the Dow now starting to take a little bit of a leadership uh, position. But Triple M is in the S&P. So it, it really affects a lot of things. Yes. So the question, just a question to, to look at Triple M. I like it. If you're a long Triple M, it's not a bad position at this particular point. It's it's It could fill the gap at 102. But in the meantime, if you're long, I would just say try to keep a core position of where you entered. Have a trading position. I wouldn't put it on just yet. Let's give it a, into Monday. Today's only today's Thursday. Let's go into maybe even Tuesday. If a hundred, if a hundred and five point eighty is holding into Tuesday, then I'm going to say to you maybe it's time that you can add a position. But if it starts to pull back quite sharply, then you've got to be somewhat careful. So that's your, I like it, and if you're in a lower level, that's great because you can manage the risk. To start a position now, I just need a little bit more evidence after four sessions, after a gap, and closing way above the gap, candle high. This is very positive action so far. So it could turn out that this is in that new leadership sector. All right. So that's Triple M. Next question was, oh, so it, I wasn't asked about J and K. It was that other one that I can't remember right now offhand. <clears throat> um, also in the... Uh, hi, this is the uh, called the spider. Oh, I usually write this down. I've done this for years and years, and I keep losing that information. So let me just see what it says. This is the spider Bloomberg. I believe this is a high grade junk bonds called JNK is the symbol 92.49 up four cents today. Look how nice it's, it's just wiggling around the 200 period moving average. But look at the weekly chart. This is. Holding very well when it's a junk bond. I mean, junk bond, I would have thought that by now it's down at the uh, 90 area, but it's not. It's at 92.49. Yes, so the junk bond is in the middle of a range. If at any point it starts to go above 90, 93.20 on a weekly basis, that's going to be important because that yield will start to shrink. So, yeah, that's the way it is right now. Next question was, uh, did that, did that, oh. High grade, uh, sorry, HGX, HDX. Look at this. I, we were short Toll Brothers. Uh, we took a, a little bit of a loss, and then it promised it. Just all like immediately, bam, slumped. Look at this. Right, and we were short over there, and it came down sharp. Then a bouncer, no, we were short over there. Uh, short on the 4th of August. Yeah, right. Uh, that's the ninth. Wait a minute. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, well, it suddenly pulled back sharply. Then it bounced. And then it plunged. It was over here. You're right. Then it plunged sharply down to the 74 level. I mean, from the 81s to 74, 26. Then it had a big spike. Gave it back. And look where it is now. And look at that weekly chart. This is what I'm talking about. You can think whatever you want, 
Look at the power of this nine period. If you were long, Toll Brothers, we are not long. But if you were long, from this weekly crossover, right here, December, the week of the 2nd of December, 2022, let's go to the high. Instead of 49, 45, 73, let's go to 49, 77. Look at the move, and it's still green, and you're at 81. You didn't have to do anything on the weekly chart, and the month is good. You're just stepping aside. It's holding really well with the, with the rates going up like this, and yet Toll Brothers are home builder. Look at the HGX. This is the Philadelphia Housing Sector Index. Not bad, huh? I'll be back. That was a fun in six. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Um, yes, so I'm just thinking here, I think I can make a, make a, a free hour coming up. So I, I think I'm going to do Steve's part. I'll do Steve's hour coming up, and you know what we'll do? We'll just just throw me as many symbols as you can, and we'll just do them as quickly as possible, as thoroughly as possible. Look at this 45-30 level. Is this important, or is this, I said earlier in the day, way earlier, watch 45-30. That's our focal point. Look, I had bounced to 45-30 in the email. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So in the next, this coming hour, um, 
I'm just going to look at stocks and we'll go through, we'll go whatever you want. Apple, Amazon, we'll do them. I might even do them on a one minute basis, whatever it is. Just a little fun. I'm going to be busy after that. So I may as well just do that right now. Uh, take the next hour to do the show uh, because there are a lot of questions that I had um, and I haven't been able to get to them. He has one MDY. Uh, this is one that I follow. Oops, typed it in the wrong place. And then I also want to look at some other monthly charts. So that will be a good opportunity. Leg C and Monday.com will do a little bit more of it as soon as I return. So let me just go through this uh, real quickly here just to give a sum up. What I'm looking at and for subscribing, yeah, for instance, today, I wanted finally, after all this time, I wanted to buy Hack. Prime Cyber Security ETF Security Stocks. Um, it was right here at the 51 area. And I wanted to buy it because I liked everything about it. From the gap up, it had more than four sessions to the upside above the gap. Uh, made a low of 48.70. There's a 52.98. The first target was 52.86. It's above that. I don't think this is a leg B. I think this is a leg E. I think this is actually a B. Monthly chart is a leg E. I'll be back in a few moments. I'll be taking on um, Steve's uh, hour and uh, could have a look at your mic and could have a doing our next break. <laughs> 